Look who's back with his right blinker on. Anyways, since it's almost Halloween, as you could probably tell by some of the foliage on the trees, if you can see that in the video, we're gonna be going. We're gonna be revisiting a good old friend of mine called Clinton Road. Yes, folks. This time, a during the day, b in the fall rather than in the spring, and c on a sunny day. Now, many of you may remember that I did do a video on this haunted road, quote unquote, back in uh, a couple years ago, and. Um, you know, I did that video because I just wanted to see what Clinton Road was really like and um, just wanted to explain some of the superstitions behind it. But, you know what? This t I figured since it's sunny, it's fall, it's very go it's gorgeous outside, I figured why not make a sequel? And I did Shades of Death Road too and that didn't come out too well, but now I have a dash mount for my phone. And yes folks, I am driving the exact same car I did with I am driving the exact same car I used to make the first Clinton Road video, the 07 Prius with over 200, with 230,368 miles on it currently. Add 10 to that because I think this road is 10 miles long. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm up in North Jersey again visiting my family in West Orange. I decided to come up here to West Milford um, because I'm changing jobs. Um, you know, I'm sort of been sort of pessimistic lately, and I figured it would help my pessimism if I just made a video for October that sort of had Halloween in mind, but was you know it was sort it wasn't not exactly you know it didn't it didn't exactly have to be original material. I mean, I just figured since my original Clinton Road video was good, I didn't think I thought you guys might like to see it during the day and in a different season, and going the opposite direction. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a video without failed recordings, because even though I do have a dash mount now to mount my phone while I'm recording, um, for some reason my phone stopped recording just sporadically a couple times, and I don't know why. Anyways, so for those of you who didn't see the first video, I'm gonna explain the superstitions, at least the ones that I can I remember to date, um, and I'm going to just talk about why this road is so haunted and cursed. Um, anyways, so this road is located in, uh, north, in Passaic County, New Jersey, specifically West Milford. Um, it's about, I think it's about 10 miles long, and, uh, maybe more. And, um, it's not a state or county highway, so it's very, usually very poorly maintained. Um, a lot of bumps in the road, especially in the winters when the ice and the snow hits. Um, as you can see there, there was a bit of a dip. Um, a lot of uh, unexpected turns and hills, and there's a curve that has some superstitions associated with it. So this road is, oh, and there's the street cleaner that was going two miles an hour when I came up and had the failed recording. Anyways, this road is notorious. Uh, for superstitions, and I'm going to just explain a few. I won't go through every one that I did in the first video, but um, I'll basically go through as many superstitions as I can remember. So, here we go. So the first one is the Druidic Temple. Basically what it is, is it's an iron furnace from about the Revolutionary War days. Now you can't see it from the road. There's a certain spot where you have to park, and it's since been fenced off and is not open to the public. But the Druidic Temple is really just an iron furnace from the Revolutionary War days, and it was mistaken for a Druidic Temple because Satanists came by and they're like, oh my god, it's a Druidic Temple! And so they started praying and bowing and thinking of it as some deity, so eventually the local police department fenced it off and it is no longer, hey, even the mailman travels this route. Um, well, there are houses on here, so I can see why. <laughs> obviously. Duh. Anyways, um, so yeah, um, so the Druidic Temple was purported to be, um, that's what it was purported to be because it looked like a place where Satanists could gather and pray to Satan. <laughs> I really don't know too much about Satanists and I don't really want to know too much about them because I don't really believe in, I don't, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm Jewish and, you know, Satan and hell don't exactly mix with the Jewish religion. 
Anyways, uh, so there's the Druidic Temple. The second one is Cross Castle. Now, Cross Castle was built by a man named, I think it was either William or Richard Cross. I know his last name was Cross, hence that's why the castle is named after him. He built it for his family in the early 20th century. And eventually, in the 1950s, I believe, the castle caught on fire, burned to the ground, and all that were left were the walls. And once again, the Satanists struck again and started having rallies there and, I, you know, praying to Satan and having campfires and just a bunch of, a bunch of stuff that I really don't know too much about because I wasn't around back then. The castle was demolished before I was born. But, um, yeah, no, I, I mean, the, the castle, I've seen pictures of it. And um, the site, to get to the site of where it is, I think all that's left there is a cabana. Um, on Lake, on, uh, I think it's Hank's, Hank's Pond, that's right, Hank's Pond, um, you have to have a hiking permit to go up there, so it's off limits to the public, and, um, you know, if you want to go, if you really want to see where Cross, Camp, Cross Castle once stood, you now have to have a hiking permit, which, you know, I'm not really much of a hiker, I mean, maybe I will be one day, who knows, but for right now, I'm more of a guy who likes to travel by machine, by car, by plane, uh, and of course by train. And of course, and by boat too, uh, but mostly cars and planes. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, so there was Cross Castle, it was demolished in 1989, uh, I think it was 89, because people were using it as like, wait, you know, a place where they could pray to Satan. <laughs> so the local police raised the castle. Um, there's also, what else? Uh, oh, there was an, there was a petting zoo that used to be out here back in the seventies. And since its closure, there were rumors that people would, um, seek the ghosts of the animals that were at the petting zoo that were, I think were let, that were let free in this area. The weather is down. The camera's going to fall. <laughs> told you this road is poorly maintained. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. People reported seeing ghouls and ghosts along this road at night, which really is just the mist from the trees that make it look like it. Um, oh, the white pickup story. So at night, when you drive on this road, there is a white, supposedly a white pickup truck will follow you. It's a ghost truck, basically. There's no driver. It'll get, it'll get, it'll tailgate you and it'll flash its lights for, uh, at you all the way down the road. And, um, yeah, and, it'll ba and basically when you get to the end of the road, no matter which direction you're going, it just mysteriously disappears. What it actually is, is a lot of the locals in this area own white pickup trucks, as many of you probably guessed. Many of the locals own white pickups, and they screw with people. They flash their lights and tailgate people, and sometimes honk at people. And, um, you know, and then they just turn off on one of the little, because there's two side streets at each end of the road, so they just turn on one of the side streets as fast as possible to make people think that the pickup truck just mysteriously disappeared. Um, so, there, you know, there's that superstition. Um, there, was also, there were also some murder stories. Yes, it wouldn't be a haunted highway without its share of murder stories. Not exactly bloody murder stories, and it doesn't have as many as Shades of Death Road, which I did a video on last year, uh, around the same time, but there was a story where, I believe, a, a bicyclist, which, if you're, if, I mean, you'd be insane to ride your bicycle on this road. I mean, you can't see the road because of the way the camera's positioned. This is more of like a scenery trip, not so much seeing the actual roadway, but, um... The, the road is very narrow, there's no bike lane, there's no sidewalk, and you'd have to be suicidal to ride your bike on this road. It's just, it's very dangerous. A lot of hills, a lot of sharp curves, drivers won't see you, and people get hit all the time on this road. Um, so, there was a story in which a bicyclist found a man's, I believe a man's head frozen in ice, that or his body was frozen in ice, and... He reported it to the local police department, and they actually captured the suspect, and he was prosecuted, and I believe he 
was received a life imprisonment sentence. I believe this was before New Jersey abolished the death penalty or capital punishment, but um, but yeah, no, he was he was prosecuted, and I believe he ended up dying in prison, from my recollection. Um, just adjust this camera a little bit better here. You probably can't see the cars coming. Yeah, I couldn't even see that in the viewfinder. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so there was that story. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of some others. Oh, 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 oh. Um, the Little Boy. The Little Boy, in fact, Dead Man's Curve, which will be coming up on very, very shortly here. Well, I say that, and it's probably like several miles away, because I've sort of lost lost my depth perception just going down up and down this road so many times. But, um, and sense of uh, direction and mileage. But, um, anyways, yeah, so Dead Man's Curve is a very extreme, like a hair, like beyond a hairpin turn, um, along the Clinton Reservoir, and actually we're going to be, and I'm looking at my nav system, we're going to be coming up on it very, very shortly, in fact, this is it right here, um, I will try to get the camera in a better position, I'm going to slow down here, and as you can see, the signs on the, on the right, this is Dead Man's Curve, this is a curve so tight, that if you took this at 90 miles an hour, you'd be dead. You'd be you'd be oh you'd be capsized in the Clinton Reservoir. You really would be. Um, let's see if I can. Now the camera's all screwed up now, probably from all the bumping around. But at least it's still recording, so I'm not gonna let that stop me. Anyways, on that bridge that we just crossed, it's rumored that at, at midnight, if you stand on the bridge and throw a quarter over the bridge at the exact at the exact stroke of midnight, the little boy who drowned there in the 1970s will throw your quarterback. And no, I did not mean quarterback as in football. I meant the little boy will throw the quarterback to you. And as you can see, here's another very tight tur uh, curve. So maybe if you want to teach your kids to slow down on the roads and actually obey the speed limit, maybe you should take them for a drive on Clinton Road and say, you want to take that at 90 miles an hour? <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, those are the main, those are all the superstitions that I can remember about this road. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's mostly, most of the superstitions are people just seeing ghosts or seeing people who died on this road or people who got in car accidents, stuff like that. And it's just very, I mean, it's all superstitions. There are no ghosts on this road. The only ghosts, quote unquote, are idiot kids in Halloween costumes who come up with the most original ghost idea where they cut holes for their eyes in the sheet in a bed sheet and you know then run out in the middle of the road and then they wonder why they're dead because a driver didn't see them. Especially if it's at night. Um, there's also um, well you didn't you probably didn't see it in the viewfinder, but Nor uh, north near uh, the Newark, near the uh, Warwick Turnpike, up north at the northern terminus of the road, um, there's a lake there. Or a res there's a lake there, and it, it the lake is very close to the road. So like the edge, like there's no guardrail there, and if you if you if you lose control of your car, you're gonna be in the lake. So um, believe me, this is not a road you want to screw around on. You don't want to go very fast on it. You don't want to, you know, and, you know, if a white pickup does end up tailgating you, flashing its lights and possibly honking the horn, um, literally just ignore it. It's just locals screwing with you, and it is not the ghost or the cursed pickup truck or the Jersey Devil or any of that. It's just locals messing around with you. So... I'm not trying to sound like a negative Nancy here, but I'm just saying these superstitions are completely false, and I think we're at about, about the area where the, quote, Druidic Temple is, off, I believe it's in this area here, where we're going, where we're passing through now. You can definitely see that fall foliage on the trees. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is also not only a Clinton Road video, but this is also a video on New Jersey and how pretty it is in the fall up here, unless you're in Newark, then, or Camden. Or Atlantic City, because, you know, you really don't see a lot of trees around those areas. But, yeah, I mean, this is real New Jersey. And, um, 
you know, a lot of people, I even saw a bumper sticker the other day that said, don't hate the Garden State, and I couldn't agree it more. It's just, people think it's all the Turnpike, or you know, Camden, Atlantic City, or New York without the New York charm, or it's all industrial smokestacks and stuff like that. And what you really got to do, and I've said this before, but I'll say it again, you just got to explore. Drive your car around on local roads, like Clinton Road, for instance, and you'll find it's mostly woodland. Woodland, mountains, lakes, and rivers. Hell, Dan Abadan from Game Grumps grew up up here, and, you know, he said the same thing. It's He grew up around, I think he said Milburn, and um, it's pretty close to where, pretty close to Morristown, which is, you know, where I came from. But, yeah, and uh, it's just... Um, yeah, you know, it's just, uh, that's just how it is. This is mostly what New Jersey is. And the people who, I think part of the problem is there's the only major airport in Jersey is Newark Airport. And obviously you overlook New York City. And while it's great, it, you know, you get a nice view in New York, you see the area around it like Newark and Secaucus and Bayonne. And it's just like, you know, ew. But like I said, you just got to go inland. You got to explore. You got to go. You got to take the the roads less traveled, and you'll find that New Jersey is a very, a very is sort of sort of a paradise to some. At least it is to me. But you know, everyone has their own opinion. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking over my shoulder, and there's just all these beautiful bluffs and mountains with foliage changing on the trees. It's gorgeous. So coming down into West, well, yeah, West Milford, I believe, um, coming up on Route 23, which is the southern end of Clinton Road, um, and, um, of course, they have signs that say that there are bears in this area, and it's true, there are, so if you ever decide to go camping or hiking here, be aware, or be a bear, ha 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 ha, no, that was a terrible joke. Anyways, I'm, I'm known for making bad puns. Anyways, um, yeah, anyways, um, so that pretty, we're pretty much getting to the end of Clinton Road here, the sub, going southbound this time. The, in the, uh, first video I did, we were going northbound, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get the camera in a better, well, you know what, I shouldn't screw with it, because knowing my better luck, I will probably knock the camera down, and I'd really hate to ruin it this this close to the end of a, sec, a successful, re, I almost said a sexual recording, <laughs> a successful recording, um, yes, so anyways, we're coming to the end of Clinton Road here, and as you can see, during the day, a little bit different, anyways, so anyways, I think I'll end the video here because you'll see the longest traffic light in the world coming up very, very shortly at uh, Route 23. So, with that, I say thank you guys so much for tuning in. You are free to comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, or dislike and unsubscribe. You know, doesn't matter. I do this for fun and fun only. And with that, I bid you guys good day, and I will see you guys, as always, in the next video. Take care.